What's going on guys, Nick Foy here from AskNickFoy.com and in this video we're going to talk about the Pinterest Google Toolbar extension for Chrome. So right here you can see this little Pinterest symbol in my Chrome toolbar. So these are all the different extensions that I've got currently uh, to kind of help you quickly you know, check out different web pages on the internet. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in an example blog post that I wrote so if we type in six chipping tips golf practice guides it should come up with my article and I'm gonna go ahead and show you you know why this this toolbar is important to have so here we've got an article I wrote so by having this tool installed when you go read different blogs in your niche so you're gonna be you know not only are you writing content for your blog but a lot of times you're gonna be researching other people's content to try to give you ideas of how you could improve it to write better content for your own blog. This is called the skyscraper technique and I've got a video coming up on it shortly that you can check my channel for. Uh, but once you find other people's content and you're reading it, if you decide you wanted to share their content to your Pinterest boards to try to help diversify your pins so that you're not just posting your pins all the time, you're also posting great content from other people, it's a good call to you know, to repin um, other blog article images from, you know, really good blog posts that you've read before is that's going to help people then on Pinterest that come click through to that article. They're going to know that it's good content and then it's, that's going to result in more shares and repins of your pin. And, you know, the more repins you can get your pins, the better your profile will do. So by pinning good content, high quality content that's going to be popular, you're going to help yourself out on Pinterest in the eyes of their ranking algorithms. So here we are on my website as I scroll down here. You can see I've got my featured image here. We've got some other images that I've put on my page here. So what this tool extension is going to do is it's just going to pull all the images that are on the web page. So as I scroll here, we can see more and more images. And then lastly, I've got my pin this photo right here that when people hover it, they can also click the Pinterest save button that I've set up on my blog but in terms of you searching a competitor's website or you know or just blogs that you're reading for fun you could just come here on a blog that you're reading click this little Pinterest icon and it's gonna load a page where it's gonna pull all the images on that screen so we'll give it a second to see if it loads alright so there we've got a good idea of all the different images on this web page so you can choose which one you want to pin so in this case, if I was trying to pin, you know, this photo here that looks like it's made for Pinterest, it's tall and vertical, I could quickly just click the save button and then it's going to pull open all of my different boards. So I could scroll through here and, you know, I could save it to like this board, best golf tips, click save. And then in most cases it will say, you know, save successful, but I just got an authorization failed. So I'm going to have to go back out and, you know, retry it again until it works. But in most times it actually works and you'll get a success message. I'm not sure what happened there, but that's, you know, that's really it. It's pretty simple. It's just this Google Chrome extension. It's free to download. You could type it in just Pinterest Chrome extension. And then whenever you're on a website and you come across, you know, a good article that you think is worth sharing to your boards that then your followers will see and it'll help you get repins and, help boost the overall score of your profile. So you can just come here quickly, click this icon, it'll load up all the images on the page, you pick which one you want to pin to your board, especially if it's a blog post where, you know, they're users of Pinterest, then they're probably going to have some kind of Pinterest designated image in their blog post like I did here, that you can easily find to click the save button. So that's it for this quick tutorial on the Pinterest Google toolbar extension to try to help you you know, save high quality content to your boards. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for daily videos. And you can check out some of our other Pinterest videos, lessons, tips on our YouTube channel by scrolling through my past video history. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.